Econolite. Moving traffic forward. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about basic zone setup. In previous tutorials, we went through the camera setup, which is the zooming, and the calibration. So now the third step will go into zone setup here. First off, over in the commands area, we can add a zone manually, which is a basic zone that we can put wherever we want, size however we want. But uh, I find it's much easier if you can, with a, especially a straight roadway like this where the calibration was done at the stop bar, to use zones from calibration. There's various options here which you can play with, but I like the preserve lanes, which just gives you all the lanes broken out individually instead of any combining of lanes. These are the ones that were used in calibration. If I click here, you'll notice it highlights over on the right side here. I can click, drag over, and put a, a name here. And it's always good to name zones so that they are uh, useful when you're retrieving data. And also just in referring to them in various places in the system, it's nice to be able to know what they are. And the IOs here, the little drop-down list, giving my TS2 racks 1 through 4. If there's an IO24 module connected, I will see the 24 outputs from TS1 as well. And we're going to set these all to output 2. And then let's suppose we want to turn on bicycle differentiation um, for this right turn lane, for instance. Uh, it could be any lane, but I'll click on this one. And if there, uh, this is not turned on and bikes come through, they will turn on the zone and you'll have this output go on. But if you want to differentiate a bicycle onto a different output, just simply click that check box there. Let's put it on a different output. And we can even change the color of when that zone is on. And you can also change the color when it's off if you want to make it black instead of gray. And that's what those the cars are, so that'll stand out. Uh, so that's how easy it is to set up bicycle differentiation. You can do it on any lane. Now let's set up a, a left turn lane. I deliberately didn't use that in calibration, so I could show you a feature. I could right click here on the zone, and it shows I can add a new zone to the right. And it places a new zone of the same size, you notice the shape is different because in 3D space the angles have to increase and so forth. And in fact, uh, you'll know that your calibration is done really nicely if you pull these back, how nicely it follows the, uh, the roadway. And of course you can resize these if you want a little bit. If the calibration was a little bit bigger than the actual zones uh, you might want to use, I always recommend instead of grabbing the whole zone and moving it around, just grab the edges. And I can also make a receding zone so it's over here, and, and again, rather than grabbing the whole zone and moving it around, I like to just grab the edges and then move it around because it knows via calibration where it is in 3D space. Now I'll just right click and there's a new option here to flip the zone direction, a real easy way to flip it around. There's also this little thing here where you can grab the edges and you can twirl uh, a zone and make it uh, different orientations as well. I'm going to hit the undo. So that's an easy way to create a receding zone. Make sure there's enough space for two car lengths before it hits the zone. Now let's do an advanced zone. I'll click on this zone here, right click, and let's do the advanced option here. This is real easy. All I have to do is type in how far back from the front of that zone, which is on the stop bar. So it's back from the stop bar. Make it a 40 foot zone back 300 feet. Automatically places one. If I want to do another, I could use the uh, add to the left option on that zone. I think you get the idea. It's all very simple. The calibration makes it so nice the way it uh, places them in the roadway. Another thing is that if you have cars turning out of any lanes, use this turn direction indicator. What that does is it tells the algorithm to make sure to look uh, off to the side because sometimes a car may turn off out of the side of a zone instead of uh, going past the end of it. Let's do that for the, the left uh, turn as well. And that'll help the accuracy of your turning movement counts. But there's your basic setup. You're good to go. You can actually press play and begin watching